All right, we'd like to welcome everyone back here to our four o'clock game. We are reset and ready to go live here in Irvine. Coming up, we've got the USA Collegiate team going up against Alumni Water Polo. We've got two games coming up here in this afternoon session. This first one at four o'clock, which is right about now, or just cleared the previous club game before. And then we've got New York Athletic Club and LA. That should be a fantastic game. We're just gonna keep it live here as we get ready and get set. My name's Sean Stringham with Game On Live Studio and USA Water Polo. And we are almost ready to get underway. Give us two minutes and we'll be back. Athletes are getting their caps on. We're gonna get ready here for play player introductions. Team in white will be alumni. Number two, Ted Zang. Ted Zang in two. Kevin Witt in three. Number four, Jeremy Blanchard. Number five will be Joseph Fuentes. Cap number six will Andrew Rigo. Cap number seven, Casey Fleming. Cap number nine, Alexa Garjan. Ten, Daniel Velasquez. Cap number 12, 14, Jason Everez. 15, Nick Fadden, cap number 16, Brent Taroka, number 17, LeVon, 18, Austin Stevenson, 19, Nicholas Alexander, number 20, Max Taylor is Hecathorn, and Jack Stafford in cap number 21. And now in our caps, let's be the team from USA Collegiate. Cap number one. 1A, West Tempton. 1B, Adrian Weinberg. Adrian Weinberg in 1B. Wes Temkin in 1A. Thomas Gruel in 4. Tanner Police in 2. Chase Dodd in 6. Number 7, Garrett Zahn. Cap number 8, Zachary Frazier. Cap number 9, Grant Snyder. Cap number 10, Nicholas Tierney. Cap number 11, Connor Mannion. 12, Grant Loth. Cap 14. Stiliano Tamales in 13, George Vakin in 14, 15, Tyler Padua, 
Our officials for this contest are... We're going to get them capped up and ready to go here. We'll be back in two minutes for the opening sprint. First couple of messages from some of our great sponsors and athletes within USA Water Polo. Live here in Irvine, Sean Stringham with USA Water Polo and Game On Live Studio in the Dark Caps USA Collegiate Crew and in the Wyatt Alumni. We've got our four o'clock game here coming up. Drop is imminent. Just gotta find the game ball. There we go. <laughs> and our second game at 5:10 is gonna be New York Athletic Club and LA. And we're underway. Ball drops in. These gets their first. Academy, will open up. Me, please. Academy wins that sprint, and we're here ready to go. Ball over to number four, Thomas Gruel. He finds number 17. Gruel goes down line, takes the ordinary. Ball comes inside. That ball. Stepping out. And then they cross it over Snyder. Stop and a cross in goal there. Grant Snyder, Number nine, Grant Snyder hits first for Collegiate. Sun obviously shifting over to the west. I think we're managing that glare off that screen okay there. We're going to come back this other way. Alexa Garjan here for alumni taking the pressure from number seven, Garrett Zahn. Zahn forces that ball to that right hand side over to number 15, Nick Fadden. Fadden goes down line into number seven, Casey Fleming. Fleming back to Fadden. Fadden looking, takes it back to number nine, Alexa Garja. Alexa winding up and answers there one on one here. Less than a minute played and two goals up, one for each side. Nice shot and goal by number nine, Alexa Garjan. Ball goes over to number four, Thomas Gruel. Ordinary foul over to Gruel. Stepping in. That ball. And an exclusion. exclusion. Number 15, White. That's Nick Fadden going to the box. Ball comes in. Stepping. That ball goes back to number four, Thomas Gruel. Inside. Shot and goal. Number 16 puts that ball in. Collegiate goes up 
Ball goes back to number nine, Alexa Garjan. Ordinary for Garjan. To number six, Andrew Rigo. Rigo sends that ball wide over to number nine, Alex Garja Garjan stepping in. He's hit from there already today in this game. Goes back to Rigo. Rigo tries and hits, and that one goes in. Goes up to two, or we're even at 2 2. Trading blows back and forth here with 6 0 2 remaining here in period one. Ball goes back to Thomas Gruel. Ordinary foul down to number nine, Grant Snyder. Snyder puts the ball in place, sends it up to Tanner Police. Police wide inside to shot blocked there by number one, Benjamin. Gontrinko. Casey Fleming. Finds, comes back up to Casey Fleming. That's gonna be a contra foul away from the ball for Submarine. And that ball will go back to Collegiate. Ball knocked down. Shot off the crossbar, rebound. I believe 17 is ca actually cap number seven, Garrett Zahn, We're confirming that with the table. Garrett, that ball goes wide over to number four, Thomas Gruel. Ordinary there for Gruel. He's gonna come up. That ball goes back. Shot and in. Seventeen, I believe that again is Garrett Zahn. Back underway, here we come with cap number 18, Austin Stevenson for team alumni. That ball goes wide back into the center to Stevenson, down line to number six, Andrew Rigo. Rigo takes the ordinary. Defense backs off, comes in, Austin Stevenson coming through. Stevenson getting up on the legs. Back around number five, Fuentes. Back to Stevenson, paying pass off that three and four position, decide to move it over to the two, I believe that's number eight. And Excuse me, that was number six, Andrew Rigo. Lost that one in the glare off the pool. Ball gonna start on the two meter on the restart. Inside, that's gonna be intercepted by number four, Thomas Gruel. Looking for an outlet, that ball comes out to number 10, Nicholas Tierney. Inside, comes in on the backhand, blocked by Benjamin Goncharenko. Outlet, big, sneaking away the other side. Up and in, is a goal by number six, Andrew Rigo. Brings us even at threes here. 3-3 three, three with 3.41 remaining in the first period. Grant Loth 
checked in here for the collegiate crew. Back to Nicholas Tierney. Tierney attacking in. Sends it wide to the one two side. Up to Gruel. Back to number 10, Nicholas Tierney. Shot blocked by Benjamin Goncharenko. Fuentes with the rebound for alumni. Tied at three here with almost exactly three minutes remaining here in our first period. I had a feeling going into these two games that we have this afternoon session are going to be fantastic. Number six, Andrew Rigo looking for the outlet, sends that ball wide over to the right far side. Into number 15, Nick Fadden. Fadden, that ball swings back around. They find position in front of the center and a five meter penalty assessed. That will be charged against Nicholas Tierney. Great move there, had the inside water. Teammate moves it inside with a quick turn, automatic five meter. Imminent goal coming with the defense in the back. Here comes Andrew Rigo, ready to shoot that ball and convert on that five meter penalty. And alumni goes up 4-3 here with 2.53 remaining in the first. Nice little skipper, just right off, half a meter in front, pops up, hits that back of that net. Number 12, Grant Loth, sends it back to Nicholas Tierney. Connor Mannion comes through over to Tierney. Mannion looking inside to number 10, Nicholas Tiernes. He hits and scores. Hitting from outside, brings us even at fours. With 229 remaining. Could be a high scoring affair. <laughs> to number 16, Brent Taroka. That ball goes over to Andrew Rigo. Rigo takes the ordinary. Rigo looking. A little tussle there in front of the post and enough to make contra foul away from the ball. That ball is being attacked by Connor Mannion here on the near side, coming down the 4-5 side for Team Collegiate. That ball into number six, Chase Dodd. Chase Dodd sends it wide to number two, Tanner Police. Police restarts up and in to Tierney. That ball goes back around. Ordinary. Stepping forward, shooting and blocked. That's a shot by number 11, Connor Mannion. Blocked nicely by alumni, 4-4 here with 135 remaining. That ball comes to Joseph Fuentes. Fuentes gets the ball into Taroka. Ordinary, here to number six, Rigo. Rigo goes back to Brent Taroka. Taroka loses the handle and that's gonna be picked up by number 12, Grant Loth. And that ball in the hands of Keeper here for USA Collegiate on the outlet up to number 10. Tierney, Tierney on attack, looking to fill in that space. Gets up with a nice little hezzy lob. The legs just enough there for Benjamin Gontrenko to hold on, but in transition will be a contra foul. Didn't put the ball in play, is my guess. It's gonna be a two meter on the restart. On the power play, coming forward here, Tanner Police, shot blocked by Goncharenko. Chase Dodd, putting the ball on the restart over to Connor Mannion. Ball 
10 seconds showing on the shot clock. That ball comes around in and to Connor Mannion. Five meter penalty. Five meter penalty called. Referees concur. And will penalty be will assessed to number five, Joseph Fuentes. Shot by police, finds the net. Takes us 5-4 here, collegiate. In a back and forth battle with alumni and 29 seconds remaining in the first period. Taroka looking, trying to get around the corner. Takes the foul instead. Gets it out to number 21, Jack Stafford. Stafford contains himself. Gets it over to number seven, Casey Fleming. Fleming takes the ordinary. Back into Stafford, pressed up. High press, that ball gets, finds, his, finds its way back to Fleming. Overpass ends up into the hands of number nine, Grant Snyder. Snyder on the outlet with one second on the shot by Chase Dodd. And that'll take us through the end of the first period. Thanks for following along. We've got a nice little audience building here. We'd love to hear from you in the chat, where you're watching from, who you're rooting for. We will be back right after these messages. Thank you. You never know where the next Olympian might be coming from, but it could be water polo. And that starts with Splash Ball. Splash Ball is a program for children ages five through nine designed to introduce them to the sport of water polo while promoting water safety. Improve swimming skills and learn a sport you'll love for a lifetime. For more information, visit splashballusa.org. Some second quarter, good game brewing here. Collegiate five goals, alumni four in the first period. We're ready here for second period action. That ball, alumni wins that sprint and takes it to Alexa Gargen in the middle of the pool. That ball goes back over to the four five side. Alexa working, maintain that ball. Sends it and will Gather after the ordinary foul there, number six, Andrew Rigo. Rigo stepping in, that ball knocked down on the nice play by Chase Dodd. On the outlet, up to number four, Thomas Gruel. Connor Mannion inside, that ball's gonna be, 
An exclusion for number nine, Alexa Garjan. And that will send Collegiate up onto a six on five. Oh, right off the nose there of Gontrenko. Takes it like a champ. Alexa Garjan coming in off the box, sends that ball down line, gathers, hands up. It's going to be a push off. Submarine, excuse me, on the contra foul. Ball comes forward up to number 11, Connor Mannion. Mannion hits on the bottom left hand corner, extends that. Collegiate lead by two goals. Biggest so far of the game with 6.45 remaining here in the second period. Ball goes back to Alexa. Guardian. Trying to get around the back door. Gets the ball there. Turns and makes it around. Good solid move there. Ball comes inside to number six, Rigo, and it's swept away, picked up by number 11, Connor Mannion. Mannion looking on the outlet, sends it down line to number four, Thomas Gruel. Gruel comes in, ball in hand, takes the turn, and will earn the five meter penalty. That's going to be against number 20 of alumni, Taylor Heckethorn. Conversion there on the goal from number 16, Chase Todd. Ball comes through over to number 14. Jason Evazard inside, swept away. Dalamaras controls that. Dalamaras sends the ball forward up to Thomas Gruel. Mannion stepping forward back to Gruel. Inside, working to get around, and that's going to be an offensive, which will send the ball to Collegiate. Collegiate gathers, looking to go send that ball back onto into transition. Number 20, Taylor Heckethorn, grabs that ordinary to Casey Fleming. Fleming to Stevenson. Stevenson stepping forward. Looking for an opportunity to attack, hoping to bring that goal differential back down to two here. Ordinary back to Casey Fleming. Fleming goes into center. Big turn. It's going to be knocked down. Good solid move. Good, great defense there. Number 14, Jason Evazard <laughs> restarts and ends up in the hands of Dalamaris. Outlet up to. 16 Chase Dodd. Big step. <laughs> Thomas Gruel has a misfire, losing that ball up over the top. Gives an opportunity for teammate number 16, Chase Dodd, to hit, and he misses wide to the left. Ball comes up to Austin Stevenson. Stevenson over to Jason Evazard. Evazard hitting up over the top of the right and caught by the feet of the athletes waiting there in the shade underneath the diving standard. They looked a little surprised to have that ball. <laughs> 
end up where it was. That ball comes through to Connor Mannion. Mannion, big turn and finish by number seven, Garrett Zahn. Eight four, collegiate doubling up alumni here after a back and forth battle in the first period. The first half of the second period has been all collegiate. Back to number 16, Brett Taruka. Joseph Fuentes back around into number 14, Jason Evazard. Evazard takes the ordinary, tries to shed the defender. That ball comes back around into number five, Fuentes. Fuentes working, and that's going to be a clean steal. One on nobody. Coming through here, here comes the goalie, number four, Thomas Gruel. Gets up, tries to beat him, and knocks it down, and that will be the goal. And taps himself out after the big effort. 9-4, Collegiate. Taroka to Rigo. Rigo goes down line to number 14, Jason Evazard. Evazard takes the ordinary. That'll be a six on five opportunity. Number 10, Nicholas Tierney goes to the box, sending collegiate, excuse me, sending alumni up on power play. That ball comes around over to number five, Joseph Fuentes, Fuentes comes through here, working into position, back around to Rigo. Good head fake, sends the entire pool to the left and then misses over the top of the cage on the shot. That ball comes forward up to Collegiate, strong counter attack. And that will be an exclusion number 15. White is gonna be Nick Fadden going to the box. Collegiate will go into a power play opportunity. That's number 17. Coming through and knocked down, picked up by Jason Evazard. Both sides come even, checking in. Taylor Heckathorn comes in out of the box. Heckathorn brings that ball forward past the half court line. Ordinary, number is 16, Brent Taroka. That's gonna be an ordinary foul, and that's gonna upgrade to an exclusion foul from number 14, George Avakian, for encroachment. Failure to give space there after that ordinary. So that'll give alumni another option to see if they can crack the code on scoring here in the second quarter. Shot covered there by Dalamaras. With the right arm. Outlet up to Chase Dodd looking over. Step, stepping into center. That will be an ordinary foul. At center, Loth looking to gather that ball. Has to get around his defense. Step coming and shot blocked. Number 16, Brent Taroka on the knockdown. That ball comes back around over to number six, Andrew Rigo. Looking to create some offensive momentum here for the alumni crew. That ball goes ordinary as Rigo is trying to shed that defender. Gets the ball over being pressed out to Number five, Joseph Fuentes inside. Contra foul. Ball under, it's gonna go back to Number 
outlet up to number 16, Chase Dodd. Ordner. Stepping blocked by Koncherenko off this shot by number two, Tanner Police. His defense goes trying to take the opportunity to create some offense this other direction. That's number 20, Hecathorn, and that's knocked down by Stellanos de Lamaras. Ball, ooh, nice work there in keeper position by Dalamaras. Sends the ball. Back to the two meter, number 14, Jason Eversard. Evazard, there we go. Evazard goes on the restart. Stepping, ordinary foul there. Rigo collects the ball. Gets back up on the leg, skips it in like a mountain lake. A rock on a mountain lake, and that ball is blocked by Delamares. Playing lights out here in the second period. Delamares sends that ball forward with eight seconds remaining here in the second period. 9 4 collegiate. It's been all collegiate here with four goals unanswered. Looking for a fifth, and that'll be an exclusion as the time runs out. So they'll be up down at the end of the. As we start the second period, we'll just have to win the sprint to go into that six on five. My name's Sean Stringham with USA Water Polo and Game On Live Studio. Thanks for following along out here for some afternoon, an afternoon of water polo. We'll be right back. We're gonna reset here for the second half and be ready to go. See you in a minute.
All right, we're back underway here for second half action. Ball comes in, a collision there at half tank. Going to keep collegiate on the six on five with this one sprint here. Thomas Gruwell as the sides move down into the front court using that full time. Ball comes around, shot coming, field block. That shot by number two, Tanner Police. Referee's going to call the ball out. Double exclusion. 17 dark and seven white. So that's Levon, Levon Gukasian and Garrett Zahn will go to the box. So that'll put us five on four. We're gonna check their table is checking the time to make sure that if the first exclusion's coming through, we're coming back in. So we'll be back to Five on five, I believe. Ball comes back around, testing out the new 12U rules of five on five here for 30 seconds. That ball comes back around to number four, Thomas Gruel. Tanner Police takes the ordinary there. That ball goes over to number nine, Grant Snyder. Snyder comes back into Police. Police goes into center, tries to make the turn. And that ball has the defense collapsed. Advantage created here as alumni coming back down into the front court, looking to break the uh, plexiglass barrier. Haven't scored since the first period. That ball comes back to number five, Joseph Fuentes. Fuentes comes in to number nine, Alessa Garjond. One more time over to Fuentes, gets on the legs. That one's popped up over the top. Nick Fadden comes back around up to Fuentes. Fuentes finds number nine, Garjon inside, and that's gonna be an exclusion. Number four, Thomas Gruel. We'll go to the box. The ball is going to, I thought they signaled the ball out, but we're going to play on here. Ball comes through to Joseph Fuentes. Inside and blocked. Ball pinballs around out there. Ends up in collegiate and will be an exclusion for impeding. They're going to call the ball out. I've got a feeling we're going to have Number four, White, Jeremy Blanchard will go to the box and will send Collegiate up into a six on five situation. Up to number two, Tanner Police. Police looking in through to Thomas Gruel. Gruel back to Police, he's on his legs, working forward into it. And that ball comes back around over to the sixth position on the legs in and dunk there by number 14, Jason, number 14, George Avakian. Off the assist. Believe that came from number 11, Connor Mannion. Good work there. 10-4, Collegiate. With 6.08 remaining here in the third period. Jack Stafford with the ball. Stepping forward, up, sends it to number 16, Brett Taroka. Fadden back to Taroka, tries to shoot it. Snapped off, blocked by number 17 for Collegiate. That ball looking. Outlet comes forward. Police just takes that ball on a little stroll on a Saturday night. 
and introduces it to the back of the cage. Puts that one in 11-4 here with 5.31 remaining in the third period. Taroka sends that ball wide to the back back shoulder of number nine, Alexa Garjon. Garjon looking for driving through, comes back around to Stafford. Exclusion, number 17, Dark, will go to the box. And extra whistles coming from the other course. Ball comes through over and indoor. That will be a five meter penalty on that will be given to number 10, Nicholas Tierney. Great read there, seeing the defender on the back. Sends it in, makes him reach for it. Number six, Andrew Rigo lining up for the five meter penalty. Blocks. Great stop there by Giuliano Stalamaras to anticipate that and make the block. Still scoreless since the first period. 11-4 collegiate with 444 remaining here in the third period. Ball goes into center. Big turn. Defense drops and there will be an exclusion. Number 17, Levon Gukyakson. Ball comes over to number 11, Connor Mannion. That ball off the shot and goal by number eight, Dark, Zach Frazier. Ball comes forward, number nine, Alexa Garjan. Garjan stepping forward. Inside to number 20, Taylor Heckethorn. Heckethorn, that ball. Nice tap out there on the lob defense of Stiliano Stelamaras. Garjan, that ball comes around to number 20, Taylor Heckethorn, ordinary foul there. Shot blocked. Weinberg in cage playing out of his mind here. Great goalie work by the collegiate crew. Ball stepping forward, Alexa Garjan. Ball comes inside, that one can't find a way in. My goodness, shot by number 20, Taylor Heckethorn with 3.21 remaining here in the third period. 12-4, eight goal advantage by the collegiate crew. Number seven, Garrett Zahn sends that ball down. Over onto that one two side and there will be a contra foul away from the ball which will turn it back over to collegiate.
Ball goes inside. Weinberg comes out. It's going to be ball under. Weinberg controls that, looking for the outlet. Sends it up to number 11, Connor Mannion. Mannion finds Grant Snyder. That ball touches the end line. It will go back to alumni. Outlet up to number seven, Casey Fleming. Fleming attacking in, has Rigo with the redirect and still, oh my goodness, finally pushes it in there. Number 20, Taylor Heckethorn. Takes it for the team and breaks the curse. 12-5 here with 2.07 remaining in the third period. Alumni getting on the scoreboard. on over to number 17 for collegiate that ball comes back to Zahn he's stepping forward over to number four Thomas Gruel Gruel surveying this finds his best bet is back to Zahn in the middle of the pool just playing pass there seven goal lead 145 remaining here in the third Six seconds remaining on the shot clock. That ball goes into the post and will be an ordinary two, one, and that will, shot clock will sound, knocked down by keeper Benjamin Goncharenko. Stevenson steps forward, gets inside, and that will be an exclusion. Number seven dark, Garrett Zahn. That earned by number two, dead Ted Zong. Six on five, opportunity here for Collegiate. Whip there by number 18, Austin Stevenson, and blocked out of bounds by Adrian Weinberg. Outlet up to Garrett Zahn. Thomas Gruel finding Shot and goal there by number 16, Chase Dodd. Drills that one into the back of the webbing. And it's 13-5, Collegiate, with 44 seconds remaining in the third period. Brett Taroka, that ball goes over the top. And out of play, Weinberg looking for the outlet. Inside, big turn, six on five coming. And there, 16 white, I believe is Brett Taroka going to the box. That's coming through, stepping forward, collegiate to number two, Tanner Police. That ball is barred down and picked up by Benjamin Goncharenko. Letting it fly up over the top of the cage and through three, Collegiate 13, Alumni five. My name's Sean Stringham with Game On Live Studio and USA Water Polo. Couldn't be happier to be here in Irvine, starting to cool off a little bit, down to 74, working through the glare and a little wind, but we'll be back here for fourth quarter and one game to go after that. Here's a couple quick messages from USA Water Polo. Which one, yellow? Yellow. Now blue? No, orange. Now blue. Ooh.
All right, fourth quarter, looking like we're getting ready to, we're lined up, ready to go. The breeze is continuing to pick up here in Irvine. Apologize if that ca camera's up on a boom. Hopefully it will stay relatively stable for you. That's gonna be alumni. With the ball, uh, Collegiate, excuse me, picks that ball up. Tanner Police sends it wide over to number seven, Garrett Zahn. Zahn to Police. And that will end with a shot clock expiration. I believe we have Byron Rivers in the cage for quick goal and shot by number 21, Jack Stafford. Takes alumni to six, collegiate 13 here with 7-11 remaining in the fourth period. Collegiate moving forward. That ball goes into center and will turn and earn the five meter. Five meter penalty assessed to number 16 white, Brent Taroka. Lining up here for Collegiate to put him in, and that is number four, Thomas Gruel. Coming in, number 16, Brett Taroka. Taroka threads the needle into center. That ball comes out on the entry pass to Blanchard and picked up by Weinberg. Weinberg looking for the outlet. Dodd. Down to number eight, Zach Frazier. Back up to Dodd, that ball comes around. To cap number 17, that ball comes in. Police, he takes the ordinary outside, that six meter, direct shot over the top of the cage. 6.02 remaining here in the fourth. Outlet up to Mc Nick Fadden. Rigo, oh, and off the shot by Rigo comes the rebound from number 16, Brett Taroka, who punches it in. Alumni. Back to up to seven here with 541 remaining in the fourth. Snyder attacking, sends that ball wide. Pace slowed down here as Collegiate with a, has doubled up alumni, 14 to seven here. That ball missing wide to the left. 
Collegia will be motivated to shoot after that 10 seconds of the shot clock, making sure they just burn that time off the clock. That ball comes down to Taylor Heckathorn. Heckathorn coming through, tries to sneak one in. Good job by Weinberg to get that ball out to number 11, Connor Mannion. Mannion on the outlet, up inside, and that ball gets finds the overpass and is controlled by Byron Rivers. Back down the other direction and a goal by number four, Jeremy Blanchard. Eight, 14 alumni, collegiate up as 14, but a goal by alumni. Brings us to 441 in the fourth period. Ball in, punched in. By Manning. Mannion, excuse me, Connor Mannion. 15-8. Stevenson on the restart here. Comes forward into the front court. Finds center number four, Jeremy Blanchard. Blanchard has the backhand, misses wide to the right. Looking for the counter ball. Ball stays in play, so he has to play that ball. Weinberg on the outlet, up. Leading with the head there will be a turnover. Sends it ball forward, up from number 21, Jack Stafford. Here comes. Andrew Rigo missing off the post. Ball stolen, picked up in the middle of the pool. Ball comes over to number 21, Jack Stafford. Stafford driving through and earns the five meter. Lining up here, number 18, Austin Stevenson, hitting on the back of that cage. And ball ricochets out, but it did cross that plane and will be a goal. Timeout called. We've got a couple messages here from USA Water Polo. Thanks for joining along. We'll be right back right after this.
Both teams even here off the timeout. Ball comes in, Weinberg to start us off. Ordinary foul from police, over to police, down line, over to number 11, Connor Mannion. Inside that ball will be turned over and sent back to Alumni. Alumni comes down in position here, number 20, Taylor Heckethorn. Heckethorn looking forward, getting up, sends the ball wide to Jason Eberzard. He takes the ordinary foul. Knocked down, picked up by number two, Tanner Police. He's gonna slow the pace down as he outlets. His collegiate comes down forward into the front court. Police to Chase Dodd. Field block by Rigo. That ball, timeout called. We'll be right back. You never know where the next Olympian might be coming from, but it could be water polo. And that starts with Splash Ball. Splash Ball is a program for children ages 5 through 9 designed to introduce them to the sport of water polo while promoting water safety. Improve swimming skills and learn a sport you'll love for a lifetime. For more information, visit SplashBallUSA.org. and ready off the timeout. Alumni coming and setting up at full strength. Two minutes remaining exactly. Drivers come through, big turn there, looks for the outlet and that will be snagged by number seven, Garrett Zahn. Weinberg looking for the outlet. Forward up to number six. 17 coming through there. Ordinary foul. Ball comes in. Goalie comes out. Rivers takes that ball away. Looking for an outlet. Rivers finds in the middle of the pool. Number seven, Casey Fleming. Fleming. Big turn. Goalie's out. Weinberg strips it away. Play continues here with one minute and eight seconds. Ball comes over to number nine, Grant Snyder. Come into Snyder, Snyder working. Blocked will be a two meter restart on the near side of the pool. Police over to Grant Snyder. Snyder stepping. Shot missing, wide to the left. 17 seconds remaining and that will get us through game number five of the day. That ball comes down and will be an ordinary put into play. Foul to number 14, Jason Eversard. He tries to get into center. Exclusion with three seconds remaining. 
Sends number nine, Grant Snyder to the box. And a quick field block will end it. 15-9 for Collegiate over Alumni. Sean Stringham here with Game On Live Studio, USA Water Polo. We've got the next one coming up and it's gonna be great. LA Athletic Club and New York Athletic Club. USA Water Polo National League Championship on the line. We'll be back right after this. You never know where the next Olympian might be coming from, but it could be water polo. And that starts with Splash Ball. Splash Ball is a program for children ages 5 through 9 designed to introduce them to the sport of water polo while promoting water safety. Improve swimming skills and learn a sport you'll love for a lifetime. For more information, visit SplashBallUSA.org.
All right, we're back here in Irvine in the white caps. We are going to have the New York Athletic Club and in the dark caps, the LA Athletic Club, a battle epic from coast to coast. So much so that we're gonna determine the league champion here in this game itself. Number three, Lucas Galen. Number four, Jesse Smith. Number five, Alex Rolsa. Number six, Sawyer Rhodes. Number seven, Rade Yaksimovich. Number eight, Joshua Styling. Number nine, Ryder Roberts. Number 10, Chancellor Ramirez. Number 11, Nick Cornelia. Number 12, Jason Javasano. Number 14, Steven Loomis. New York is coached by John Mann. And now in the dark caps, to meet the team from the Los Angeles Athletic Club. In the cage, number one, Zach Rose. Number two, Calder Hildy Jones. Number three, Bryce Orman. Number four, Dennis Blanchard. Number five, Jonathan Lotero. Number six, Wes Katie. Number seven, Eric Carnahan. Number eight, Mark Vanderbite. Number nine, Austin Stewart. Number 10, Matthew Casura. Number 11, Jacob Merchap. Number 12, Connor Virgie. 13, Joshua Spires. 14, Carla Gramek. Number 15, Miles O'Brien Shreddy. Number 16, Cole Brosnan. Number 17, Zach Lowry. Number 18, William Kelly. Number 19, Mitchell Scott. And number 20, Alexander Machinov. LA's coached by Ivan Butch. Our officials for this contest are Mr. Ortega and Mr. Matosa. Gentlemen, shake hands as you go to your benches. Yeah, two minutes of game time. All right, we're two minutes of game time. We'll be right back right after this. They need to score. Lola, we need you. Get in there. But wait, Coach Kerforian has just subbed in their secret weapon. Lola the dog. She shoots. She scores! Yeah! You never know where the next Olympian might be coming from, but it could be water polo. And that starts with Splash Ball. Splash Ball is a program for children ages 5 through 9 designed to introduce them to the sport of water polo while promoting water safety. Improve swimming skills and learn a sport you'll love for a lifetime. For more information, visit SplashBallUSA.org. Aquatic Center, my name's Sean Stringham, and we have essentially the league championship game underway right here in the Whitecaps New York Athletic Club, and in the blue will be the LA Athletic Club. Sprint is set, the sun is almost behind the building, we're trying to reduce that glare for you. Trying to find the counter balls. And the ball will drop and be ready to go.
All right, ball is dropped and we're underway here for USA Water Polo National League. Number nine, Ryder Roberts. With New York over to number 10, Chancellor Ramirez. Ramirez goes inside, tries to get off to Obert, and that ball is blocked by Zachary Rhodes. In exclusion, in transition, will send LA up onto six on five opportunity. That ball comes forward up to number 10, Matthew Kakura. Exclusion, number three. And we'll call for the ball out. Lucas Guilin just given. And he scoring at home, we have exclusion on two white and a flagrant misconduct on three white. Flagrant misconduct delivered to number three, Lucas Guilin, after the exclusion for number two. We'll see if that is. An exclusion should be for the remainder of the game, I believe. Seven white. <laughs> Lucas Guilin will be removed from the deck after the flagrant misconduct. Has to remove his cap and exit. So if you're catching him at home, we still have an excluded player and then a flagrant misconduct, a penalty shot, and New York will be down for four minutes. New York will be down for four minutes on the flagrant misconduct. This is that time if you're table workers, that you are waiting to use that yellow flag that you sit over there. Four minutes, so six on five opportunity for LA for four minutes here with seven minutes and 33 seconds remaining, 27 seconds into the first period. That ball comes in and is finished by number four, Dennis Bleischoff. So the original exclusion comes in, brings New York to five. <laughs> Referee Haas Ortega brings Essentially, captains over to the side here to discuss the situation. Getting ready to restart here. Alex Obert subs in. You know, if you're gonna have to play six on five for four minutes, you want guys like Alex Obert and Alex Rosa and Jesse Smith on your squad. They've had some experience. So we'll mark that. Should be at 334, 333 when that yellow flag will go up. Ball comes back to number nine, Ryder Roberts. Roberts comes down. LA just plays drop in on center, so incredible and impeccable passing will open up shooting lanes here. That ball comes in to Rolsa, direct shot available, and loading up here, trying to make it through. Dangerous place to sit is right behind the goal because they're gonna be shooting that ball hard at that cage for the next four minutes. Outlet by Zach Rhodes to number 15, Miles O'Brien Shreedy. 
Back in, back to O'Brien Shreedy. He's stepping in, being guarded by number seven, Rayda Jaksomovic. Stepping forward, looking over to number four, Dennis Blyshoff. Stepping in. So they will fend off the first possession of six on five with approximately three, coming up on three minutes remaining on the flagrant, the flagrant misconduct. That ball comes over to number nine, Ryder Roberts, tapped out. Controlled, picked up. Ober earns that five meter right in front of the cage. That's going to be assigned to number seven, Eric Carnahan. Obert earns it. It's going to be given to number six, Sawyer Rhodes, to pick up and take and convert on that five meter penalty. Rhodes off the crossbar. No goal. Ball picked up by number seven, Eric Carnahan. Carnahan. Ball comes in. Back to number 10, Matthew Kasura. Stepping and trying to finish, deciding against it. That ball knocked down, swam out by Christopher Whiteleg. And Whiteleg comes up with the ball. Back to New York. You're good, 5.52 remaining. Just about 90 seconds into the four minute flagrant. That ball comes. The ball comes in, knocked down. On the outlet, forward up to. Into number 10, Matthew Kosura. Stepping in, trying to, LA trying to create that opportunity. Sometimes it's more difficult to play six on five for an extended period of time on offense because you're just kind of out of your rhythm of having to come down and set it every time. 1-0, LA still up with 4.56 remaining in the quarter. And approximately a minute and 30 seconds remaining on the fla flagrant. LA not capitalized. There's been no scoring on either side at 445. That ball comes in, stepping. That's going to be knocked down by number seven. And that's going to be in and out of that six meter. No shot el eligible is not, shot is not eligible. Con collected by Zachary Rhodes, outlet up to number eight, Mark Vonderweight. Vonderweight comes through, six on five opportunity again here for LA. Under a minute remaining in the flagrant misconduct. That ball comes over to Mark Vonderweight and a goal. Vonderweight hits. And that will take him to a 2-0 lead and a yellow card issued to Vonderweight for taunting after the goal. Ball comes out to Chancellor Ramirez. Ramirez. To number seven, right at Joksomovic. There we go. Joksomovic inside, knocked down to number six, Sawyer Rhodes. Rhodes looking for the cross, finds Joksomovic. And at 3.59, we're less than 30 seconds remaining on the flagrant brutality. They were going to want to hold on to this. And that ball. Goes over, 
Coming up into our last six on five opportunity for LA. Comes through on the flagrant brutality. Shot knocked down in a five meter. Penalty number 13. Joshua Styling. Nine seconds remaining, approximately, on the four minute exclusion. Shot in and finished by number eight, Mark Vonderweg. LA three, New York zero, with 3.42 remaining in the first period. Obviously, New York Athletic Club has the firepower to be able to extend the to make up the difference here, especially when they go back even. Missing Jesse Smith on the bench here today, but Alex Rolsa is here and wasn't here this morning. Both sides come even now. Checking in number 11, Nicholas Carniglia for Nyack. Carniglia stepping forward. Getting on the legs, looking into center. Ober is going to earn the exclusion. They're going to have a turn for just 20 seconds instead of four minutes to play a six on five opportunity to see if Nyack can crack the plexiglass here in the first quarter. Ball comes back to number seven, Rede Jokosomovic. Back around to Carniglia here inside. Try for the redirect. That ball picked back up by Jess. Shot over the top by wide missing wide, so we'll be still stay 3-0 here at 252 remaining in first period. Outlet comes up to number 11. Take a Merchep exclusion, number 10. That will send Chancellor Ramirez to the box. Inside and finish quickly there by number 15, Miles O'Brien Shreddy. LA out to a quick lead here. 4-0 in the first with 2.40 remaining here. Coach John Mann over talking to the table, checking in on the uh, Scoring. Ball's coming out. Gonna have a little referee consultation on timing. We'll keep it here just to uh, keep it interesting. It's been, uh, it's been an interesting turn of events here in the first period. Referees taking an opportunity to discuss Going to see if there is a correctable error that they can go back and finish on. So hang tight. He's got all sorts of good stuff coming in here.
All right, so no goal on the correctable error. They're going to go back to the time of the error and replay that from that point. Right now, the clock is showing 310, and the LA at three, New York at zero. So we gained, we gained a minute or so because we came even off the, came even off of the flagrant brutality there at 333, or three, excuse me, 327. So we just lost. 17 seconds and a goal by LA. Good awareness there by Coach John Mann to check, to notice the error and go back into the time to make that happen. Ball is going to come in. The crowd is gathering here, and we've had it all so far. And then it's not even we're <laughs> we've got three minutes and ten seconds remaining in the first period. Ball comes in, that ball an exclusion on number 12, Connor Verhe. Gonna send New York Athletic Club onto the six on five. Back to, back around to number 13, Joshua Stilling. Still in, goes wide to number seven, Rade Jaksomovich, and he hits. 3-1 with 2.48 remaining in the first period. Number 11, Jacob Merchep. Merchep goes wide over to number 16, Cole Brosnan. Wind picking up here in Irvine. That ball blocked. Picked up. Back to Christopher Whiteleg. Ball up to number five, Alex Rolsa. Rolsa over to number seven, Rade Jaksomovic. Here comes Alex Rolsa. Rolsa sends that ball, skipping off the end line, and will give the ball to LA. So. Jacob Merchep comes through. Merchep takes the ordinary foul. Up to number 16, Cole Brosnan. Brosnan. Ball comes back to Brosnan. LA looking to maintain their two goal lead here. And this is essentially the league championship game. So emotions are high and both teams obviously wanting to take and represent their club here. That ball skipped up over the top of the cage. 126 remaining here in the first period. Ball outlet up to number nine, Ryder Roberts. Roberts with the left, sends that ball wide over to number seven, Rade Yaksumovic. Into Rolsa, Rolsa stepping forward, looking, sends it over to Roberts. Shot missing wide to the left. Blocked out. Turns over to LA with one minute remaining here in the first period, and quite the first period it has been. Two, two occurrences in water polo you don't see very often. First, the flagrant. Exclusion, game exclusion, that will be a six on five opportunity. Sends number five, Alex Rosa, to the box. So a four minute flagrant penalty. And then right after that, a correctable error from the table, resetting and taking a goal away from LA. 
And if you're a water polo nerd, you love seeing that kind of stuff outside of the flagrant, but still interesting to see how it all plays out. That ball comes through, that ball skipped up off, over shot and goal by number 11 on the rebound, Jacob Merchep. Merchep, the overall leader in the 6'8 sports plus minus. Fantastic effort, rebound, back to that left, little hezzy around and skips it in. Very good shot there. LA goes 4-1 with 21 seconds remaining here in the first period. Number 10, Chancellor Ramirez controlling the ball. Ramirez looking, sends that ball wide over to number seven, Rade Yoksomovic inside to Ramirez, stepping forward. Ordinary foul, opportunity for Ryder Roberts. He kicks back to Ramirez. Chancellor Ramirez goes inside, backhand attempt there by number two, Alexander Obert, is thwarted and sent forward with zero seconds remaining here. That'll be the end of the first period. If we're gonna start like that, I'm in. Can you imagine how we're gonna end? Can't wait, hang it on. Send the link out to your buddies. It's gonna be a good one here. We'll be right back, right after this. Which one, yellow? Yellow. Now, blue? No, orange. Now, blue. Ooh. Just getting ready to post here on Instagram, but this feels like a thriller is just brewing. New York Athletic Club is not gonna go away here without a fight, obviously. Down by three at the end of the first. Our first period saw just about some very random things you don't see very often in the sport. Correctable error going back in time to where we took a goal away from LA. And full game exclusion on a brutality with four men down. So we're gonna be even back here and the sprint's gonna be won by LA. Here we go. Number 20, controlling that ball inside, that ball elevating, going for it. Number four, Dennis Blyshoff, right into the gullet of Christopher Whiteleg. Whiteleg looking for the outlet. Up to number five, Alex Rolsa. Rolsa stepping forward. Oh, how about that? Number nine, Ryder Roberts off the assist from Rolsa. Whipping dangerous left hand. Brings Nyack within two. 4 2 here with 7.32 remaining in the second period. We're st 
just about underneath the glare here for the sun behind Irvine High School. Turn the lights on, it's gonna be great. Ball put into play after the restart, number 20. Alexander Mokshinov. Inside, that goes. Over to number 20. Moxinoff sends that ball wide down into the corner. Moxinoff stepping forward again, has the opportunity f blocked, but will be an exclusion. Nine white is gonna be Ryder Roberts going to the box off the field, big field blocks from Alex Obert. Inside there, scooping save by Chris Whiteleg. And again, another tangle in the middle. It's gonna be, this time it's gonna go back. Alex Rosa caught on the contra foul. It's gonna give LA another possession here with 6.51 remaining in the second period. That ball being knocked down. Ball comes through, stepping forward, stepping and shot. Number six, Sawyer Rhodes finishing that. Back to one goal here at 626 remaining. On the restart, back to number seven, Eric Carnahan. Number 11, Jacob Merchep. Over to Dennis Bashalov. Inside, that's gonna be an exclusion. Official's choice on that. It's gonna be the exclusion. Number six, still waiting to exit. He's coming back around Sawyer Rhodes. That ball comes around over to number 11, Jacob Merchep. Merchep around in over to number 10, Matthew Kasura. Kasura, big step and shot, missed there. Christopher Whiteleg on the outlet. Up to number six, Sawyer Rhodes. Rhodes checking in here with the left, getting big. Over to number five, Alex Rolsa. Rolsa stepping in, looking like he wants it. He shoots and is blocked by Zach Rhodes. Zachary Rhodes, it's gonna be a contra foul going the other way. This time it's gonna be back to New York. It's gonna be earned there by Chancellor Ramirez. Alex Obert back to number 10. Ramirez, the point of the foul here. Alex Rolsa stepping forward. Inside to 13, Josh Styling back to Rosa, stepping and hitting. That brings us even. LA goes up by three or four goals in that epic first quarter, and New York comes back chomping at the bit and has tied it back up here at fours. 5.14 remaining in the second period. Setting up shot for two meters, Chancellor Ramirez on the 
defense. Ball comes back around into number 11, Jacob Merchev. That'll be an exclusion. Number 10, referees working their best to control this action and set the tone early. After, oh, shot and goal by number 11, Jacob Merchev. Off the quick, LA goes up by one, 5-4 with 4.54 remaining in the game. We're live here in Irvine at the William Woolett Aquatic Center. A beautiful water polo facility here. Watching some of the best water polo athletes our nation can offer here. A battle of coast, New York Athletic Club and LA Athletic Club. No love lost here. Ball comes forward over to number 14, Stephen Loomis. Exclusion, coming back the other direction. Here comes number 11, Nicholas Carniglia. Sends it to Ryder Roberts with the left hand. Roberts sneaks down inside, back to Stephen Loomis. Loomis around to Rade Yoksomovic. Stepping in, number 13, Joshua Styling. Ryder Roberts inside, that ball knocked down. It's gonna be Contrafoul and will send the ball back to LA. Zachary Rhodes looking on the outlet up to number 11, Merchep. Merchep, dangerous. 6'8", points leader, but that ball blocked by number seven, Rade Yoksomovic. Outlet coming from Christopher Whiteleg. White leg up to number 11, Carneglia. Carneglia, Carneglia stepping forward up to Rada Yoksomovic. Yoksomovic takes the ordinary, switches to the right, back around over to Carneglia with Yoksomovic, Carneglia paying pass at the top of the key here, starting the attacks. Carneglia sends it over to Ryder Roberts, has the whipping left hand to put that in from there, bows into center and will earn the exclusion. Number two, Alex Obert. We'll send number 20, Alexander Makshinov to the box. And timeout called by coach John Mann for New York. 3.44 remaining here in the second period. New York looking to go, bring it back even here. We'll be back right after this timeout break. Back underway, ball is live on a six on five opportunity here for New York, looking to bring it even. That ball comes around, Rade Yoksomovic, ball picked up by number 13, Josh Styling off the crossbar, recovered by Ryder Roberts who finishes. Coming through here, oh, tipped away on the pass. Gonna cover in through that, number 10. Chancellor Ramirez picks it up. <laughs> that chatter is a gaggle of 10-year-old athletes walking past the microphone. <laughs> Good stuff, that ball comes through into Sawyer Rhodes. Rhodes hits. New York Athletic Club not going away, 6-5. LA so far undefeated in league play, looking to 
they went up with a 3-0, 4-1 lead in the first period. And now New York Athletic Club turning it on. Here comes number seven, Eric Carahan. Carahan sends that ball back over to number 11, Jacob Merchep. Merchep. Inside to number four, Dennis Blyshoff. That ball crossed off the cross, off the field block. Will go back to New York, to Nyack. Here comes Christopher Whiteleg with the ball. Ryder Roberts soft passes it up to number six, Sawyer Rhodes. That's gonna be a push off and will send the ball back to LA. Here comes Matthew Kasura. Patrolling right through the middle of the course. Looking, content. Still has 20 seconds remaining on the shot clock. Kasura looking, waits for his team to get to join him. And there's been a substitution and that will be a two meter as it touches that end line and comes back. Here comes Christopher Whiteleg getting the offense started in through transition up to number five, Alex Rolsa. New York Athletic Club missing the services of five-time Olympian Jesse Smith. Here on this match, and Lucas Guilin, cap number three, out for the match with 20, just 27 seconds in on a flagrant brutality call in the first period. That's gonna be an exclusion. It's gonna send number six, White Sawyer Rhodes to the box. This, if there's ever a game to follow along for a National League, this is one on 68scores.com. You can watch the box scores happening. Obviously, exclusions are gonna start playing a role here in this. While the New York Athletic Club bench is obviously deep in talent, they are not deep in numbers. There are only two. Everyone in the pool yelling at the table here, trying to figure out the timing of that. Both teams are at full strength. Both teams at full strength. Tensions are high in the pool. Going to go back in to check on the shot clock. Checking shot clock timing down at the table. Shot clock is showing one second on the shot time, which I do not believe is correct. I believe that will be adjusted. Steven Loomis jumping in.
So they're going to have to, they've been subbing. They're going to ask that everyone that was in the water during that technical erection return back in, can't sub while they get the clock reset, which looks like they're having a little bit of an issue with. Now the <laughs> two seconds remaining. Now they've moved it back to 105 with four on the shot. Testing the metal of our table staff and our officials and our coaches. Great match. If you're, uh, I've said this once before, if you're kind of a water polo nerd to see how all of these technical rules are playing together with four seconds remaining, three, two, ball comes over the top of the cage and that will much to do about nothing off that. New York Athletic Club up by one, 6-5 here. Comes forward up to Ryder Roberts. New York Athletic Club looking to put another one up here as to change the momentum and that not to happen on that possession. Number 15, Miles O'Brien Shreedy will go back out to Zachary Rhodes. Rhodes looking to anticipate that ball, comes forward. Up to number eight, Mark Vonderweight. Wait, Vonderweight back on attack into number 15, Miles O'Brien Shreedy. Inside, one on nobody. That's a beautiful look on the assist from number 11, Jacob Merchep, into number eight, Mark Vanderweight. Wide open, just snuck away from his defense. That ball went inside on that two meter, was able to sneak in at a point blank open cage to bring us even at sixes with 18 seconds remaining here in the first period. Alex Rolsa comes back around over to Chancellor Ramirez inside. Zachary Rhodes elevated, knew he was a little bit out of position and that ball skies over on the last shot from number 15, Miles O'Brien Shitty. We're gonna go into halftime, we're maybe catch our breath, take a quick like 20 second power nap and be ready to go for the second half of this game. Great stuff coming, you can just feel it. 6-6, <laughs> New York Athletic Club and the LA Athletic Club here at USA Water Polo National League. My name's Sean Stringham. We'll be back in just a minute.
Merchep, Loomis, ready to go. Second half action. And we are underway in Irvine. Here we go. LA will take the first possession of the second half over to number 20, Alexander Mokshinov inside, goes down line. Inside, exclusion, cap number 10, Chancellor Ramirez will go to the box. LA will earn a second possession here on the first time down in the front court for the second half. That ball comes around into number 18, Kelly, William Kelly, stepping forward on the legs. Number eight, Mark Wanderweight, and that is blocked by Christopher Whiteleg. Whiteleg coming up huge here, put under pressure early. Team has responded. Rosa sends the ball, ooh, quick there by number nine, Ryder Roberts, his bread and butter. Misses off the three post and gathered by Zach Rhodes. Over to Mark Vonderweight. Vonderweight goes inside and a backhand blocked by Christopher Whiteleg. Calder Hilda Jones making his way back down onto the defensive side. Ball on the outlet up to Loomis. Steven Loomis sends it wide to number nine, Ryder Roberts. Goalie comes out, Zachary Rhodes says, not in my box, get it out of here. Comes and takes that ball, looking beautiful Statue of Liberty on the outlet here for LA. Tied at six with 6.06 remaining. How satisfying is that? That ball comes through to number 20, Alexander Mokshinov, then back around to Vonderweight. Mokshinov inside, off the crossbar, oh my goodness. And foul is awarded to Christopher Whiteleg, off the shot by number 18, William Kelly, trying to come in, make a difference on that. Stepping in, number seven, Rada Yaksomovic is blocked by Zachary Rhodes, still tied at six. Zach Rhodes on the outlet. Tracing that down, number 18 is William Kelly. Kelly sends that ball into Alexander Bokshinov, he gets on his legs. Huge block by number two, Alexander Obert. And they're still tousling in the middle. Somewhere underneath there, Alex Obert tries to surface to swim away. Bokshinov goes back down over to Loomis. Loomis into Ryder Roberts. Roberts back around to Yoksamovich. Loomis back to Roberts. Oh! Ryder Roberts is technically listed as a weapon. Holy smokes. Look at that. What a shot by Ryder Roberts. Just surgical precision with that left hand. Boom. Off the crossbar and in. 436, New York Athletic Club, seven, LA Athletic Club, six, here in the third period. Tacking in LA, down by one here. Trying to bring it back. Big tousle there in the middle. Going to be an exclusion on number five. That is Alex Rosa going to the box. Typically in the women's game, you see the women trying to elevate to show the suit hold. You don't see that in the men's game. Alex Rosa just showed us 
what that looks like underneath the water there and goes to the box to pay for it. The ball comes around to number 18, William Kelly. Stepping in and shooting there, number 11, Jacob Merchep has turns and has something to say about it as they finish that. LA brings it back 7-7 with 3.58 remaining here in the third period. Caniglia sends that ball wide over to Rade Yaksumovic. Goes down the line, Loomis back to Carniglia. Carniglia takes the ball back. Carniglia into center over to Yaksumovic. Carniglia sails it over the top of the cage. Counter ball comes in. Tied at seven here, 3.33 remaining in the third period. Outlet. Up to number 17, Zach Lowry. Finds Bryce Horman. Horman goes wide to the 4-5. Exclusion going to be on number 14, White. That's going to be Stephen Loomis going to the box. Personnel starting to become an issue here for New York. A penalty associated to... Number two, Alexander Obert. That'll be Obert's third. Scratch that, that'll just be his second. So we're still safe there. Lucas Guilin out. Jesse Smith not available. Alex Rosa has two. Sawyer Rhodes has two. Chancellor Ramirez has two. Ryder Roberts with one. Josh Styling with one. Steven Loomis with one. And Shreedy hits and finishes that, bringing LA up 8 7 here in the third period. Rada Yaksumovic wide to number nine, Ryder Roberts. Over to number nine, Ryder Roberts. Alex Rosa in at the two meter center position. He sends one the other way with an exclusion earned. Shot missed, but gonna be rebounded here by Chancellor Ramirez. Ramirez gets the ball restarted back over to Joshua Styling. He gets on the legs over to Sawyer Rhodes. Stepping forward, Rada Yaksumovic. Back in, legs, and finishing number six. Sawyer Rhodes with the left hand. Sends us back eight, eight with 2.35 remaining here in the third period. Beautiful little touch pass to Sawyer. Sawyer gets on the legs high and just bot buries it on the bottom right hand side of that cage. Restart comes here. Gonna be in the hands of number 20. Makshanov goes wide over to number three, Horman. Horman back around to Mark Vonderweight. Deep here on that end line, being guarded by Josh Styling. Big arms go up, trying to break down those passing lanes. It's going to be ordinary. It's going to send number 10, Chancellor Ramirez. Ramirez anticipates that. They dump it, pick it up, and send it. He's going to swim it down all the way to that two-meter. Wait for his team to join him here. Tied at 8-14. Stephen Loomis coming through, has an opportunity, and that is blocked by Zach Rhodes. Off the big bicep of Zach Rhodes and out. We're going to do a quick cap check. 
Get everyone capped back up. Tied at eight here with 150. We'll have 20 seconds on the shot clock. Reset after the shot with the international rules in mind. It's going to restart at the two meter to number 10, Chancellor Ramirez. Ramirez getting another opportunity, sends it up to Steven Loomis. Loomis wide to the middle to Joshua Styling. Styling back to Loomis. Loomis stepping, sends it up to number seven, Rade Yaksomovic. Rade goes down line to number nine, Ryder Roberts takes the ordinary. Still working towards back to Yaksomovic. He takes the ordinary, direct shot coming, misses wide to the right. Eights, 129. Oh, that ball bounced out of bounds on an unlucky break. Catches right, bounces just to the right of the sideline. Pops out and bounces over to the outside. It's gonna be New York ball here with 115 remaining. Ball goes down to Rosa inside to number five out. There's Alex Rosa back around to Ryder Roberts. Ensure that left hand because it's worth a couple of goals every game from what I can tell. Ryder Roberts gets through, just tries to sneak that one in. Sharpshooter misses wide to the right on that. Counter ball comes in to Zach Rhodes. Rhodes looking for the outlet. Bryce Horman goes down line inside to Calder Hilda. Calder Hilda Jones earns that exclusion. It's going to be given to number 14, Stephen Loomis. That'll be his second. New York Athletic Club now officially playing with fire. Multiple athletes with two exclusions. Got to stay safe here. 20 tied at eights with 25 seconds. That shot knocked down by number nine, Ryder Roberts. <clears throat> Ball comes forward to Roberts. Shot goes inside to number 10, Chancellor Ramirez. That's going to be an exclusion. And then draws exclusion. Sending New York Athletic Club up. Blocked out by number one, Zach Rhodes, is going to be another second opportunity here for New York. Swimming to the side, Josh Styling brings the ball in, and that will be it at the end of the third period. Tied, 8-8. Eight, eight. Oh man, call your water polo loving friends and let them know what's going on because the next eight minutes is gonna be off the hook. I can just feel it. My name's Sean Stringham with Game On Live Studio. We'll be back right after these messages. Thanks for joining us here on a Saturday night.
eight with eight minutes remaining. Sides are lining up. We are getting ready to go, and we're going to bring it home here for day one of weekend three. Winner of this game will be the National League Championship champion. We have games tomorrow. You'll want to watch those. But there is no love loss here between L.A. and New York. I don't think that's true. I think that's true in all sports. And we've got one playing out right here at Woolett in Irvine, California. We're just waiting for our referees to get into position. Fourth quarter about to begin. Here we go. Big championship on the line. Let's go. Ball drops, and it is going to be controlled by LA and out of bounds. It's going to be New York ball. New York. Ball comes back to Rade Yoksimovic. Yoksimovic back around over to number five, Alex Rosa. Stepping forward, Yoksimovic in that ball. Blocked by, shot by Josh Styling, blocked up and out. Zach Rhodes controls. Merchep. Over to number three, Bryce Horman. Oh, Bryce Horman skips it right underneath Christopher Whitelegs' right arm. My goodness, that's going to be a great replay. He takes that ball, sees his opening, and just dials it through there. I'm not sure how that made it through there. Holy cow, what a shot. That just exploded off the water. Number seven, Rade Joksimovic, looking to see if they can answer after LA strikes first here in the fourth period. That ball goes wide over to number 10, Chancellor Ramirez, stepping out back to Joksimovic. In, Ryder Roberts tries to do the same, misses. Working to get back on the cover. That ball is covered by Rade Joksimovic on the defensive side as number three, Bryce Horman, Tracks it down. Here comes Zachary Lowry with the ball. Zach over to number seven, Eric Carnahan. Stepping inside, defense drops and collapses. Chancel Ramirez takes that ball. Back to Christopher Whiteleg. 6.30 remaining here. Down to number seven, Rade Joksimovic. Rade sends that. Over to Chancellor Ramirez, inside to Steven Loomis. Loomis, back up to Rosa. Rosa dialing it up, looking dishes to Loomis who puts it in. Explosive play there. Excuse me, that's number 13, Josh was styling. Both sporting very dapper beards. Great work there by Styling to bring us even here at 9-9. 6-10 remaining in this goal and goal battle. On the restart, Eric Carnahan sends that ball by it over to number eight, Mark Vanderweight. Tacking in. Taking the ball deep down, looking to see, sends that ball wide up to Merchep. Merchep looking, gathers, winding up, oh. And number 10, Chance Ramirez, you could hear that slap from way up here in the press box. And that ball will take number eight, Mark Vonderweight, to the box. Advantage here for New York Athletic Club. In, oh, tries on the redirect, and that ball is gathered off the shot by Alex Rosa by Zach Rhodes and sent back to Jacob Mercha. 518 here remaining. Eric Carnahan back to number eight, Mark Vonderweight.
Mark shoots that ball up and out. Blocked by Obert. Still tied at nines. Whiteleg looking for the outlet up to number five. Alex Rosa, Rosa getting big. Showing over to number seven, Rade Joksomovic. And then that ball skips up into the stratosphere. Shot by number six, Sire, Sawyer Rhodes. Someone called NASA, they've got a new satellite after how high that went out. That ball up to Bryce Horman. Shot blocked. Going for that near side, that was blocked by Christopher Whiteleg. Ball comes forward to Joksimovic. The bench is much deeper here for LA with four minutes, but that's experience talking right there. Number five, Alex Rosa takes Nyack up 10-9 with 4.03 remaining. Just nothing but net on that, taking it off the pinch. They're gonna have to paint that cage after this because they just took it off there with that ball. Akshinov back in action here. Dennis Bleishoff. Inside, working. That's going to be an exclusion. Number seven, Rade Zoksomovic. That will be his first exclusion. He has a few to give where his teammates do not. Obert playing with two. Rosa playing with two, Sawyer Rhodes playing with two, Chance Ramirez playing with two, Steven Loomis playing with two. Three athletes on the bench for Nyack. A horde of athletes playing for LA. That ball, Makhchanov will go to the box here. New York comes back around, Alex Rosa Comes back around, Rosa dials it up. He wants another one and a redirect and in. My goodness, Alex Obert finishes. What a beautiful shot. Patience there off the pass. He brings everyone to him with a huge fake and just beautiful poetry. Puts that on that bottom right-hand corner of the cage. New York Athletic Club extends that lead to 11-9 with 3.05 remaining. Number seven, Eric Carnahan. Back to number eight, Mark Vanderweight. Vanderweight shakes off the defender. Puts the ball in play, 12 seconds on the shot clock, 2.44 remaining in the game. LA looking for an answer. That ball goes off the back. That ball goes off the uh, pool edge and rebounds back in. Sends the counter ball back. Ball, Rade Joksimovic coming forward. Over to number 11, Carniglia. Stepping, Joksimovic off the crossbar. That's gonna be chased down by Obert. Timeout called by LA with 2.10 remaining, down by two. Looking to see if they can drop some magic here. Definitely not over. We'll be back right after this timeout break.
running out. They need to score. Lola, we need you. Get in there. But wait, Coach Kerforian has just subbed in their secret weapon. Lola the dog. She shoots. She scores! Yeah! Both sides at full strength as we come in off of the timeout. Ball comes over to Merchep. Into Mark Vonderweight. Vonderweight takes the ordinary. Looking to dial up a winner. Puts the ball in play. Tries to turn that back door. Is going to get the ordinary opportunity again. Vonderweight sends it inside. Stolen by number five, Alex Rosa. 143, Nyack now in no hurry. Want to control that clock? Just let that click away with a two goal advantage and 135 remaining on the clock. That ball comes up to Nicholas Carniglia. Carniglia goes down line, big turn, hands are up, no foul. Inside and a redirect, how about that? Number six. Sawyer Rhodes inside to Obert. Obert, a favorite target here on both sides for these alley-oop dunks. Inside, open cage, nothing but net. Nyack goes up by three, 12-9 here with 123 remaining. Illusion coming, number seven, Rade Jaksomovic. Believe that will be his third, confirming. Indeed. Scratch that, that'll be his second. Ball coming in off to Christopher Whiteleg with 47 seconds, Nyack extends here in the fourth period after going down early on a four minute brutality foul 27 seconds into the game they have recovered here timeout called by la 12 9 with 32 seconds 29 on the shot clock gonna need a miracle a great water polo throughout we'll be back right after this timeout Teams at full strength. Off the timeout here, 12-9. 32 seconds on the clock, LA. That ball missed. Off the direct shot. Counter ball comes in, 28 seconds. Game, game clock is shot clock with 23 seconds remaining. That ball outlet up to number 13, Josh Styling. Obert will take control of that ball. Obert with two commanding dunk shots off the crosses here in the final moments of the fourth period, and they're going to let it run out. Congratulations to New York Athletic Club. What? Congratulations. New York Athletic Club unofficially taking the championship. New York Athletic Club unofficially taking the league championship. Have some gameplay to happen tomorrow, but are in position to do so. My name's Sean Stringham with Game On Live Studio, and USA Water Polo will be back tomorrow for four games after our six today. 
for an incredible day of water polo here in Irvine. Signing off for now. Peace.